हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज राम जितन यादव मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट जिम्स इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर्ड ए लेक्चर ऑफ एन ऑटोमोबाइल सब्जेक्ट एंड द टॉपिक इज स्टेरिंग बिफोर दिस लेक्चर वी वर डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सेल and excel is associated with your steering okay and steering is your uh, very important component of your automobile engine uh, in fact your vehicles without steering you can't move the vehicle in any direction so let's start what is the steering and what are the principle on which the steering is actually work and what is the correct steering all these terms we will discuss in this lecture first is here the introduction what does it means a good steering mechanism is must for a vehicle's stability at the time of turning means it have a good stability to turn the vehicles either it is left or right or straight whatever you whatever you, in which you da, uh, you want to turn it it must be stable otherwise your vehicle may be fall one sides okay so steering of four wheel is designed in a manner so that it will not permit lateral slip of front wheels during steering there must be true rolling of wheels at the time of steering means the steering system provide the change in direction of motion of vehicles this is achieved by converting the rotary motion imparted to the steering wheel by the driver into a annular turns of the front wheels what are the main components of an steering as seen you see in, in your diagram this is actually your steering system you see steering wheels steering column and shafts steering gear box steering linkage steering arms drag links center links pitman arms idler arm stabilizer links see when the driver operates the steering wheels the steering shaft you see the steering shaft the steering shaft passing through the steering column also rotate with it and it is fixed to the steering wheels this motion of steering shaft is transferred to the steering gear box then it then it convert into the lateral motion by the gear box and transfer to the steering linkage the left and right linkages are connected to the steering knuckles on the left and right wheels respectively okay the each knuckle is pivoted on the suspension upper and lower arms and rotated about the axis when force is applied this cause wheel to move left or right along the direction of the wheel to be changed what quality should be a steering must have let's it must be capable of keeping the wheels in true rolling motion at all times means all time it must have a true rolling motion without rubbing of tire on the road next it should have a certain degree of self centering action to keep the vehicles on a straight path next it must be easy to operate it should be light 
it should not require excessive effort to turn the steering there are basically two principle on which the steering are working one is the ackerman principle of steering which is mentioned in your syllabus and other one is davis steering mechanism you must be read it in your kinematics of machine but here mention it is mentioned in your syllabus that's why we have to discuss about the ackerman steering mechanism what is let into uh, i want to tell you about the davis steering mechanism has a sliding pairs actually which means no friction and easy bearing this mechanism fulfill the fundamental equation of correct steering in all direction however due to the bearing easy bearing it become inaccurate after some times that's why the ackerman steering come into picture so it is also mentioned in your syllabus here we have to study only the ackerman steering mechanism it has only turning pairs whereas in your davis steering mechanism uh, that have sliding pair but in your ackerman steering mechanism has turning pair and it is thus preferred to the davis mechanism but the here also a draw by which what is it fulfills the fundamental equation of correct steering at the middle and at two screen position and not for all direct positions means it does not fulfill correct steering for all the directions since the ackerman mechanism is preferred for automobile steering system therefore it is discussed in detail see this one is your actually the diagram these uh, see the front wheels and the rear wheels front wheels are the l and m and rear wheels is e and f and how it is works i will tell you here you see uh, front wheel make an angle phi with your stub axle and this wheel is makes an angle theta and what is the correct steering system when the you see cot theta minus cot phi is equal to a upon l where a is the distance and see a a is the distance between the uh, rear wheel and uh, b is the distance between front wheel and rear wheels okay uh, the ackerman steering mechanism consists of four link mechanism that is a b c d and the shorter link bc and ad or equal length are connected with the stub axles okay AL and DM front wheels through which sort arm AB and CD. These forms the well crank levers L, A, B, and M, D, C. In the case of straight motion of the automobile, the cross link DC remains parallel to AD and short link AB and CD both make the angle from the horizontal axis of the chassis. Okay, the fundamental equation of steering is satisfied when the link AB and BC are the proportional suitably and angle is selected suitably. The condition for the correct steering is the cot theta minus cot phi is equal to a upon l. The angle are and shown in the diagram and the distance a and l are the shown in the figure. The value of the a and l lie between the zero point four and zero point five. It is generally taken near. 
to the average of two values that is the 0.455 the mechanism used for the automatically adjusting the value of theta and pi for the correct steering known as Ackermann steering gear mechanism there are three values of angle phi for the correct steering corresponding for three cases when vehicle is running straight when the vehicle is turning to right and the when vehicle is turning to the left actually these Ackermann steering are only the mentioned in your syllabus that's why here i am going i am this my discussion is limited with it you can also refer for this uh, derivation in your any reference book that is uh, either by your Prapal Singh or S.K. Gupta or K.M. Gupta you can uh, take any uh, take help from any book where the derivation or uh, in any your kinematics of any book of your kinematics machine where you can see the derivation of it here no derivation is required in your syllabus because you already study in your kinematics of machine thank you thank you for the study the lecture